What's going on guys? Welcome to your 27th Java tutorial with me Travis and we're going to finally talk about our last modifier, uh, the final modifier. So it's nice, it's touching, it goes together and that's what we're going to talk about. Now there are a few other modifiers but we aren't going to talk about them until we actually need them um, because you know you, I want to say you rarely use the other ones but you know it's not it's not as, uh, you won't see them as often as these modifiers that we've talked about so far. So we're going to create a final integer, call this integer number, we're going to set this equal to 21, and be like, bam, we are setting up our final integer. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try and change that integer. We're going to set number now equal to be like 200. And when we do this, it's going to be like, hey, man, this number is supposed to be final. You can't change it if you set it equal to be final. That's stupid. Um, so basically, all final allows us to do is be like, hey, this is the number I want, and that's final. You know, I don't care if you try and change it. I'm just going to give you an error, and it's going to mess up your whole program. So, you know, go for it if you want to try. But if you establish this variable as final, it's going to be final. And then the last thing I want to show you guys is something other something else you'll see a lot in uh, Java programming, the final static sandwich. And what the final static sandwich is kind of what it sounds like. We're gonna do final static. Let's do a let's do a string. We give integers too much credit, too much street credit. It's kind of crazy. We're gonna call this like a database uh, name or something. And we're going to set this equal to be like uh, bam one, two, three, four. Ah, rule. And uh, it's giving us an error right now because I believe it's in our main method. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this, we're going to paste it above here. Um, basically the reason I did that is because you know this is what the compiler looks for and if we want to set up like a static a final static variable we want to set it up within the like the you know for the actual class itself because again we're working with a static variable um, so it kind of is for the whole class in its entirety um, and then the final modifier says hey we can't change this and you'll see this a lot this final stack um, whether it be a string or integer uh, when you work with like databases and the thing that you want to realize or kind of like the grammar of programming for Java is when you do this final stack it's basically like a constant it's never going to change um, for example if we have a database name or something that's super long or you know some kind of in I don't know something that's super long and you just want to refer to it as like database name it's a good way to do a constant. We can also do like, you know, final static for, for like a game or something. Uh, we can say uh, integer gravity, you know, because gravity is not going to change. Uh, we're going to set this equal to be like 9.81. And uh, there we go. Gravity is not going to change now. Oops, shouldn't be an int. What am I doing? We're going to do like a, a double here. And, uh, you know these are going to be constants they're never going to change so we see this final stack it's going to be just you know always the same uh, forever pretty much and uh, and also you'll notice when you label these variable types it's all uppercase for like constant variables um, they're all going to be uppercase so you know that's a pretty short tutorial but uh, that's the final modifier uh, again thanks for watching guys and I hope you have a good one and I hope you rule too Bam! One, two, three.